this video is going to walk you through how to make an animated GIF out of your Word document. Now, of course, you could make one out of any Illustrator or Photoshop document, but for us, I think it'd be easier if you started with one of your words and figured out how to animate it. So if I've got my um, boing word here, and I'm thinking about how I would like to have this O drop in and bounce out, and that could be kind of a nice animation. I'm going to open it in Illustrator, but then I'm going to file new and I'm going to title that whatever my word is GIF for GIF so that I remember that I've got my original solid still word but then I have my GIF word because I'm going to be changing that one a lot. I'm going to keep it at six by six inches and back on my um, original I'm going to drag over to select all of my my vectors copy and I'm going to bring it over and paste it and that allows me to mess with this one. I'm going to leave my background, but I'm going to take out my text. So select everything, hold down Shift, deselect your background. That allows you just to move the text out. That's my first slide. So what I'm going to do is file, save for web. Make sure I have this as a JPEG up here in the top right corner. It can stay a GIF file, but JPEG is just easier for us. We've been doing that. Hit save. I would, as you can see I've been doing here, I would, in your VAT folder, I would make a new folder and title a GIF or the word or something so you remember that you're putting everything just in that folder. Excuse me a second while I get that the right name. And I'm going to save that as Boing 1 or 1 or whatever just so that you know there's some sort of numerical order or logical order with 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, whatever, and hit save. So then I'm going to start to break this apart. I'm going to ungroup here. I'm going to bring my B in, place it where I want it. That's going to be my next slide. So I'm going to go from nothing to a B. File, save for web. Make sure it's still a JPEG. Save, put it in this file, save it as two. We're going to continue doing that. I've been doing that for a while, back over here. Um, saving, you want to get at least 30 different slides. So I'm going to pause a second while I continue to work on that. Okay, so I'm continuing to build and changing my um, slides a little bit, trying to make sure that nothing I had before moves. You want that to stay where it was every single time. Saving, and I'm going with my next number. You can see I'm already at 31 slides. I'm going to start to bring in this guy and duplicate it. 30 is, oops, excuse me, file safe web. 30 is the minimum required or minimum suggested to make a decent looking animation. So I'm going to finish up my last few and then come back and show you how to put it all together. Okay, so I finished working through all of my slides and I don't know quite yet what they're going to look like. I have them all in a file. You can kind of preview it by opening up in just an image or photo gallery image viewer and clicking through and kind of watching the progression and at this point you can kind of see if there's a slide that you missed there's a little weird angle there that I kind of did and see if there's something you want to go in and change I would probably if I were doing this correctly go in and change that one that was a little bit wonky but we're just going to go with it there are two places that you can create a GIF one is on Google just by going into oops, Image Flip. Actually, there's several websites. Image Flip is the one that we use the most. You're going to go to the top and create a GIF from Images. You upload your images, so you navigate to wherever you have them. Whoops, sorry. Upload, and you're going to click on the first one, hold down Shift, scale down to your last one. I have 48 tiles, and open. And it's pretty awesome. It loads it right up for you. It's kind of default setting and shows you what it's going to look like at this setting. So I can slow it down. I can make it faster. I can change the width and height of my um, piece. I can change the quality of the piece, although I don't really feel like that matters very much. But um, that allows you to kind of test it out. You can also drag and drop your slides around if you feel that they're in a strange order. You can delete them. You can copy them. Um, you can kind of play with it right there. And then what you need to do is generate your GIF. And this is where it gets kind of strange. I don't know why here at Curie Grove it's weird like this. But um, when we download that image, it does download to the bottom of Chrome. Just right here it is there. But 
when you try to open it, it opens in Explorer and we don't quite know why, but it's a file. You can take that file out of your download and load it right into your portfolio, which is pretty awesome. So in your portfolio, you can go to image, insert that image from your H drive, um, or actually from your downloads folders. That would be where it would have gone from Google. Um, so there it is. It doesn't look like anything, but you can see the little watermark for image flip. And when you load it, just like an image, it should operate and animate inside your portfolio. Haven't quite yet figured out a way to share them with each other. They, last year it was working in Drive, but it didn't this year. If you can figure it out, please let me know.